How to pitch and sell your startup idea in four minutes. Watch this video to learn our no fail solution for pitching your startup idea in record time. Four minutes, four slides, four key elements to zero in on. Learn what most investors care about and understand the proper way to communicate your business model so you get the funding you need. Keep in mind that in general, if you can't win over potential investors in the critical first four minutes, you'll need to keep trying with someone else. Ready to craft your power pitch? Tune in now and watch our BOOM B -O -O -M, model for startup growth and scaling. Welcome back, folks, to another edition. I hope you are doing wonderful today. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. And if you're doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. Now let's roll. Today, I want to show to you how to pitch and sell your startup idea in four minutes. Obviously, this show will not last four minutes because I need time to explain it. But when you deliver it, when you do it, you have to do it within four minutes. Number one. You got to talk about the business model. You want to you want to explain how your startup will make money. You want to start with the money part because this will hook investors and listeners ASAP. A lot of people want to talk about the business model at the end. They want to talk first about the opportunity, the market. No, you want to tell investors ASAP. Listen, this is how we this is how we intend to make money. Doing that means that you are not only explaining how you will generate sales but also tell investors the cost of running your business and how much profit it will generate. How much will it charge customers for your products and why will they want to pay the price? What are the variables and fixed cost of your startup and how much profit will it generate on the, you know, the, the fixed profit versus the variable profit? How many customers can you win over over? Can you win over time? And why do you think they will come on board? So you, you want to focus on things like value proposition, the revenue model, the market opportunity, the competitive uh, environment, the competitive advantage that you have, the market strategy and the organizational development. Now, you might say this is like too much for one slide. No, it's not. You can actually have a you can craft a well, a professionally designed infographic where you're able to put all this information at the end of the day you, you got to ask yourself what am i trying to convey here which is going back to what i said earlier you want to explain how your startup will make money and you want to focus on the sales price you want to focus on what competitors are charging you want to focus on what the market opportunity is and most importantly the competitive advantage that you have so that's the first slide business model that stands for b Remember, we have a boom model for startup growth and scaling. And the first letter here is B for business model. Number two, opportunity. That's what the boom, that's what the O comes for. Opportunity. You want to explain the opportunity you have identified, why you care about it, and how you will overcome a customer's reluctance to buy from your startup. Right. Remember, we, we, we have covered in other shows something called the customer's journey. There are steps that the customers go through, goes through before buying a product or service, right? From awareness to consideration to conversion, right? So to achieve these goals, the second slide of your power pitch should answer these questions. What problem of op or opportunity have you identified? What is your solution to this problem? Or in other words, how do you plan on how do you plan on capturing the opportunity? Which customer pain will you alleviate? If you're able to explain clearly the customer pain you're trying to lessen, you are giving the investor more chances of coming on board. And another question you want to ask is, what is your vision of the business and why do you care? Right now, there are a lot of opportunities in the uh, in the startup world, in the economy. There are opportunities all the time. And I always say that if you see a challenge or an obstacle, it actually is somewhat somebody else's opportunity. So 
why don't you transform opportunity uh, not opportunities why don't you transform challenges into opportunities i'll speak about that in the third in the third section but let me give you examples of, of key opportunities right now in, the, in today's world we have uh, content and wearable tech content marketing we have bioenergy you have mobile monetization we, we have uh, healthcare services robotics and ai artificial intelligence we have data alignments with mobile content all of these are count or examples of key opportunities in today's world in the 21st century in 2020 so those are some of the opportunities you also have smart counterterrorism technologies you know and you can even go back to more boring quote unquote boring but necessary markets let's think about socks let's think about funeral planning let's think about coin operated laundry machines right i can hear you laughing right now you might think oh this is you know this is boring this is unsexy well listen everyone has their eyes turned toward the most cutting edge tech companies right but nobody's focusing on the tremendous value to be unlocked in old unsexy places everybody needs you know we'll still need to have to um, to wash our clothes and those uh, laundry machines as as far as i'm concerned they're not switching to apps quickly uh soon enough they will still be needing some coin operations here so if you start a company remember that it is an investment and you don't want to follow the crowd you want to chart your own course but you want to have you want to find a way to explain that to a potential investor okay so first element first slide business model second slide the opportunity the third slide let me i'll be right back and i'll explain that to you welcome back folks to another edition of sweetie key we're still having a, a conversation here around how to pitch and sell your startup idea in four minutes i already told you what you should talk about in the first two minutes let's now talk about what you need to talk about in the last two minutes before i do so please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you can be informed in real time whenever we release a new show and we do this every single day rain or shine comment below share and like this content so you can help the channel also the third o not the third or the third letter which is actually the second o because the first b the it, it, this is the boom model and b stands for business model o stands for um, opportunity the second o stands for obstacles so obstacles are challenges and threats those are threats that can trip up your business right now a threat to a business is typically external so this is threat or one of the four parts of a, a SWOT analysis. You know, you have SWOT, SWOT standing for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And um, threats might be your peer company's relative strength. It could be an industry-wide shortage of uh, raw materials needed to make your products, or as we currently have now, a sluggish economy, right? A threat can also be a pandemic, it can be some, again, ultimately a threat is something external compared to a weakness which is something more endogenous more internal now unlike identifying weaknesses which are hard to self-identify objectively you only need to look around your world and communicate with peers and customers to recognize your threats right so you have as i said earlier you have the economy if you sell something consumers need in an economy you will fare better than others right material shortage so if you have tensions in an oil producing country can read can result in big price hikes raising production costs for trucking firms airlines and plastic manufacturers for example if your computer system is hacked which is an external threat let's say you have a rise of cyber crime and uh, your computer system is hacked this can knock your entire website off for days during a crucial selling period first is the the holiday season if you have unemployment in your industry is a strong 
this can make it hard for your business to find skilled workers i mean and finding skilled workers is a cornerstone of uh, the successful startup so you want to think of you want to identify those threats on the slides on the obstacle slides when you pitch to potential investors if uh, market demands dries up then you have a uh, you have a problem so your company should address threats to create opportunities while they will have to work around other events they cannot change one thing i want to mention here and I, I think i have sort of alluded to it earlier if you want to really impress your investors transform the obstacles or threats you have into opportunities so basically what you would do is you will put on the slide you will list in one section all the threats and obstacles that you have identified and in the other column you show potential investors how any of those threats has been transformed or could be transformed into an opportunity right and this depends on your industry depends on um, on um, your business model okay number four the m the m in the boom model boom model the m stands for the market you can if you can persuade an investor that your startup is going after a real opportunity the next challenge is to make a compelling case that the opportunity is worth a bet right because the opportunity can be real right but if the market is not large enough and the market is not scalable enough and the market is not um is not investable quote unquote then the investor will put their money it has to be worth a bet to that end your your fourth slide should answer this question which group of customers will you target how big is the potential market and how fast is it growing who is your competition and why will your startup prevail now if you're a startup chances are unless you're a startup you are going to make you're going to sell products or services on mars planet mars <laughs> you have you you already have a competitor or you're going to have a competitor soon right so you you just want to understand that now when it comes to market analysis you generally have six points you have consumer behavior analysis so you want to know as i said which group of customers will you target you want to have retail analysis you want to understand what the competitors are currently doing how there are the distribution channels they're using the logistical channels they're using you want to do a gap analysis meaning you are comparing what the demand is versus what the what the supply is for instance let's say the market wants 1 million cubes of let's take a very weird example but let's take that the market you want to get into you have a startup engaged in the industrial gas sector and the market needs a the local market needs is say 1 million cubes of uh liquid oxygen for instance right but the so the demand is 1 million but the supply is 800,000 so right there you have a if you do a gap analysis you have a gap of a delta of 200,000 so the deficit here is 200,000 um, metric cubes of liquid oxygen for instance and that's where your startup can help with i'm just giving like you know a very but but you get the point right the gap analysis allows you to compare demand versus supply you also in market analysis you also do competitor analysis i already said that you want to identify you want to get some intel on your on your competitors you know what what they're up to sales analysis will also help you you can see trains in the in the market how much how what price are competitors setting for the products you want to go after and promotion analysis you want to study the promotional challenges that uh, not the challenges the promotional channels rather that the competitors are using and in addition to so you have the, the channels you want to use the the content they're using the communication mode all of those things are helping you so again consumer behavior analysis retail analysis gap analysis competitor analysis sales analysis and promotional analysis all of this form the core of market analysis i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere
Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We are about to wrap up today's conversation now. And um, and today's we talked about how to pitch and sell your startup idea in four minutes, in four slides. Let me quickly do a recap. So the four slides will cover business model, opportunity, obstacles, and market. This is what we call boom, the boom model, right? B-O-O-M, business model, opportunity, obstacle, and market. Now, here is a pro tip before I wrap this up. The, the pitch, your power pitch, cannot answer all of the investors' question about your startup, but if you do it right, the investor will want to spend more time with you to get those answers, right? The idea here is that you want to really captivate the investor's attention. Remember, they receive gazillions of solicitations and pitches every single day, right? So what you want to do is you want to quickly, quickly get there, quickly get into their uh, into their mental zone and convince them that your business is worth a second look. You can save yourself and potential investors a lot of time by being disciplined by about giving the speech only to those investors with experience in your industry, right? Now, if that doesn't work, then you move on to the next level. You can always try people who don't know your industry, they don't know your products, but the odds of winning them over may be less, right? Practice your power pitch at least five times in front of uh, different crowds, different friends, acquaintances who have experience receiving pitches for investment. Right, so every time you practice, make sure you revise the power pitch to respond to their questions and concern. Right, so the more you practice, the more you realize that your power pitch is ready to be tried out in front of a real potential investors. All right, thanks for listening. I wish you good luck in your entrepreneurial uh, pursuits. I will see you next time, but until then, remember stay marvelous.